Hey, seven day startup peeps. This is Vic Dorfman from justrecord.it. And a few people have asked, namely Carly, about how to install Drip or how to integrate Drip with optimized press opt in forms. So, first of all, you're going to want to make sure that you take the JavaScript snippet that's given to you when you sign up for Drip, and you can also access this from within your Drip account, and you're gonna copy the whole thing, then you're gonna go over to your website, go to Optimize Press Dashboard, while that's loading, I'll take a sip of my kombucha, and then you're going to click on Analytics and Tracking, okay, and then you're going to paste it in the second box, the one that says enter any tracking or analytics code which need to be placed after the body tag. Or actually better yet, uh, add it to the last one before the slash body tag. Okay, that's what it says here. And then click save settings, okay. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to campaigns up here in the navigation and then you're going to click on settings for the campaign for which you'd like to create an opt-in with Optimized Press. Then you're going to click on the opt-in forms tab right up here. Okay, then once you've created your form, you're going to scroll down to design and click on the embedded tab and you're going to copy the code here to your to your clipboard and then click activate now to actually activate the form and then click save settings okay now you're gonna head over to optimize press and you're going to either create an opt-in page if you don't already have an opt-in page or uh, you're going to open an existing landing page. And in our case, I'm just gonna create a new one real quick. Okay, now that your landing page is set up or open, you're going to find the opt-in box element and you're going to click on the edit icon. Now under integration type, you're going to select custom form. And where it says form HTML, you are going to paste the stuff that you grabbed from drip okay and then you're going to assign the fields that correspond to the values you got from the form so here it says fields email but up here it says name so this is the name field so that means that we need to um, 
that means we actually need to go back and add the name field to the sign up. So the form, okay, let's add uh, the name field, name identifier, we'll make it required name, we'll say first name, yeah, first name, and then we'll add the field, okay, and then copy the whole thing again, head back over to optimize press and replace all of that data. Now we can select fields first name to correspond to first name. And then for email, we'll select email. And then we'll make name required. And we always ask for the name first and the email second, usually. So I'm gonna set the email field order to one. Zero being first, one being second. Then you don't change anything else here and you change whatever content you'd like here and you change the submit button here if you'd like and then you click insert. Okay, now you're going to save and continue. Okay, and now view public link. Now let's actually test this form. And we'll enter uh, my name, Vic, say victor.dorfman at gmail.com, and click Get Instant Access. Okay, it says, thank you for signing up. Please check your email and click the link provided to confirm your subscription. So now let's see if I received the email in question. Okay, and here it is, customer campaign. Please confirm your subscription. Okay, we'll click on that and confirm the subscription. And then once you've clicked on this link and made sure that it works, then the final, the final two steps will be one, go into Drip and make sure that that user was added or that subscriber, I should say, was added. So let's go to subscribers. And if we scroll down, you can see that victor.dorfman at gmail.com was just added. So we know it works. And then the final step now is to set this from draft to publish. If this was a new page, then it's by default, it's in draft mode and you have to actually click publish. And then you click save and close and it'll publish. So let's do that. Now, one other note is you may want to redirect people to a different page after they actually opt in rather than the, than the default uh, drip page. Okay, and to do that, we'll go back up to campaigns. Customer campaign, let's click on settings. That's a rooster in the background, by the way. And then we'll click on opt in forms. It says post sign up. Click on that tab. And here it's where it says custom post submission page. You can enter a custom URL. Just make sure that if you enter a custom URL here, that it's going to modify the embed code in this tab. So if you do change any of the settings here, make sure to recopy the embed code 
and re-paste, replace it in the optimize press opt-in element and then save that in order for the changes to actually take effect. Finally, make sure that you change this customer campaign or whatever the name of your campaign is to active. Um, in my case, I just signed up for an account, which is why it, it isn't giving me that option. But in your case, it will allow you to activate it and then you activate it and then everything will work just fine. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, just hit me up on the uh, Facebook group.